the story is called Rise and Shine. My dress was fierce, and so were my shoes. The red carpet passed by in a breeze, cameras flashing all around me. I tried to savor the moments of my first big event, but they seemed to go by in a blur. Before I knew it, I was sitting in a soft velvet seat, waiting for my turn at glory. Suddenly, everything seemed to slow down. I could hear the static hiss of the microphone before my name was echoing off the walls. I had won. I barely felt my feet as I moved to the front, walking up the stairs to the wide golden stage. The glare of the spotlights made it hard to see the crowd, but through the buzz of the room, I could make out the faces of all my fellow actors clapping for me. The award felt heavy and cool in my hands. The moment was just sinking in when I felt a finger skim over my pussy lips. I looked over my shoulder at the trophy lady. She was too far away to be touching me. A shame, too, as the two of us could have had a good time together. No, this hand seemed to be coming from nowhere, but it felt so real. Something clicked in my mind as I realized the hand was real. My award was the fake. My Oscar dream was fading and weakening at the edges. The hand between my legs was getting through the haze. A mouth on my neck was the next sensation to push through the barrier, blurring the lines of fantasy and reality. The soft lips sweeping from my ear to my collarbone were making it hard to finish my acceptance speech. The room seemed to be getting smaller, the lights a lot less bright. A light fingertip brush against my clit aroused a gasp from the crowd as I tried to continue with my thank you list. But soon the crowd had disappeared altogether. I tried to open my eyes, but they wouldn't budge. Fingers spread my cunt lips apart, but my mind still groped for some sense of what was really going on. When a finger entered my moistened slit, I told my body to move, but nothing happened. I felt heavy, as if trapped underwater. The only thing that was getting through was the steady plunge of the finger entering my pussy. Slowly, my head began to grasp what was occurring. My body was still uncooperative, leaving me defenseless against the invading slippery digits. The sensations of heat and pleasure rolled through me, washing over me like a warm bath. My pussy was aching, drowning out all the other efforts I was making. Fighting a losing battle, I let go of everything. Another hand was groping me through my tank top, teasing my hardened nipples. Then the sensation became hot, wet, but my eyes refused my re repeated requests to open and reveal my torture. The heat moved away, only to reappear on my other nipple. It was then I could, smell the smicy, I could smell the spicy tones of his shampoo. I could feel reality coming in, my body slowly rousing awake. But I wanted to stay in the ether where I could just feel and not think. The wetness seeping between my thighs and his persistent mouth were making that difficult. His thumb strummed at my clit, his tongue now gone from my nipples. They sat hard, aching for a squeeze. For a moment or two, the sensations were all over my body, a blurred, warm feeling my mind having no idea where it was coming from or where it was going, until I felt a hot rush of tongues sweeping over my pussy. He stroked a relentless rhythm on my clit, his fingers back inside me with their gentle twist and pull. My body was starting to respond without me, rolling my hips into his mouth, urging his tongue along. My thighs spread wider, opening myself up to his demanding mouth. Three fingers were thrusting inside me, bringing me, bringing me little by little into the waking world. For the first time, I allowed a moan to escape my mouth. I could hear him groaning as he stroked me. It sounded far away, but I could feel it vibrating against my skin. I knew he was trying to wake me up, but I was trying to stay in that beautiful fog a little bit longer. Undeterred, he kept licking and sucking my hard clit, trying his best to get a reaction from me. But I kept my eyes closed, still trying to revel in that thick as honey feeling of sleep mixed with ever-growing ecstasy. Faster than slower, his pace was erratic, making me buck off the warm flannel sheets. My eyes stayed locked tight. I knew I wasn't fooling him or myself, but I wanted to hang on to those last gauzy soft moments before I gave into the sharp edge of orgasm that was heading towards me. Then suddenly, everything stopped. His mouth was gone, fingers leaving me empty and wanting. Desperate as I was to open my eyes to see what he was doing, I didn't. I squeezed them shut even harder, waiting for his next move. His whole body covered me, pressing me deeper into the bed. My legs ran around his, around his back almost as an instinct. I felt his mouth on mine, his tongue salty with my taste. His cock was nudging at my wet cunt, sliding and slipping over my clit as he adjusted his position over me. I pushed my hips up into him, but he wouldn't fit inside. Come on, open your eyes. It's time to wake up. His breath was hot, but not as hot as the tongue sliding over my earlobe. Caught between his teeth, he pulled at my skin, urging me to finally look at him. I moaned, but kept my eyes shut. His teeth sank into my neck, a sucking bite a little lower, a bit harder. I won't fuck you until you open your eyes. He moaned the ultimatum into my mouth before plunging his tongue back inside. I made one last effort to ease his cock inside me, but he remained elusive. He had left me no choice. 
I let my eyelids flutter open, straining to see his blue eyes above me for the first time. Good morning. The words left his throat in a grasp, a gasp, as he slid inside me. I clutched around his cock, my pussy desperate to be filled after his fingers had left me. His mouth closed around my nipple, the feeling so much more intense than it had been just a few moments ago. You interrupted a really good dream. He looked at me and I could see the laughter behind his eyes. Pinning my arms above his head, he thrust harder, grinding against my clit before pulling almost all the way out of me. I'm so sorry, how thoughtless of me. He pressed me harder into the bed until I could barely move beneath him. He was controlling everything. I needed to come. It felt like I had been on the verge forever, but he kept me there, not letting me get any closer to what I wanted, to what I needed. What was your dream about? Me? He thrust his cock deeper inside me, releasing my hands to push my legs higher and wider. I clung to his arms, trying to hold on as he fucked me harder. Not at first, but you kind of took over. He couldn't help but laugh at me again as he rubbed his hands down my trembling legs. That sounds like me. His mouth crushed mine with another destroying kiss. Rolling onto his back, he stayed inside me until I was straddling him, his hands steadying my hips. I rocked back, feeling every inch of him inside me, filling me so completely. I rode him, my legs still heavy and tired from sleep. I could feel my nipples harden painfully as my orgasm remained just a bit too far away. The ache behind my clip was becoming a huge fire of need. I was desperate for him to touch me. As if he read my mind, he dragged his thumb over my clit. The slow, the slow circle broke through the last wall, keeping back my impending orgasm. He had to hold me up as I came. Shuddering and writhing on top of him, my strength was sapped by every rippling, ripple coursing through my body. Everything started to break apart. My mind smashed to bits as my body tightened repeatedly. Ooh. <laughs> Just one more paragraph. <laughs> Collapsing on his chest, I felt him thrust up harder into my pussy as his own orgasm hit. I lay there helpless and spent as he came inside me, too tired to do anything but take him. Soon he was too was exhausted, limp, and satisfied beneath me. Is it done yet? <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> um, okay, he pushed my crazy morning hair aside and kissed my sleepy mouth. Sorry I woke you? Not a chance. Thank you, that's it. I, I told you I was on the time.